New York City's migrant control is basically non-existent. Okay, there's a massive migrant crisis, and the cops can't really do anything. The city council simply doesn't care. People and businesses are leaving New York City. And it's getting to the point that even high school soccer games are now being canceled after a group of about 30 migrants refused to leave the field. Now, I'm pretty sure they called the cops because the cops showed up, and even after the cops showing up, they couldn't do anything. I mean, it seems like migrants seem to have more rights than the common domestic New York citizen. And this is making headlines because it's kind of outrageous, right? I mean, it's a high school soccer team, and this is like just parks and recreational stuff. And basically what New York says, well, I guess you have a soccer team. I guess you have after school activities. If the migrants are there, everything is canceled. And this is making a lot of people a little bit mad, right? I mean, people send their kids to this place to play soccer, to train for soccer, and to pretty much have like collaboration with other schools. But it's all canceled because of the whole migrant crisis. I think New York State could do a much better job with the migrant crisis. Right now, the migrant crisis is just at a boiling point. You have billions of dollars being fed into the migrant crisis machine, but nothing is really being done, right? You have tens of thousands of migrants in New York City. New York is spending $10 billion a year, and average citizens are getting nothing. Hundreds, if not thousands, of migrants are lining outside of New York City Hall recently for a meeting and to get their experiences in New York City. The city council is creating a team of advisors to improve migrants' experience in the city. Now, this made a lot of people mad in New York City. They basically said, hold on a second. You made a team of advisors to improve the migrants in the city, but you're not going to make a team of advisors to help out with shoplifting or maybe crime or maybe you know theft in many of the places of the city. And that's making a lot of people really angry because New York has some of the highest taxes, not just in America, but around the world. You're paying sky high taxes for very low quality of living. I guess all your taxes are going towards the migrant crisis, guys. That's New York City. And so this is about it. A bunch of migrants are also requesting work permits. And right now the city council is saying yes, yes, yes to every single thing basically demanded by the migrants. And New York City will be pouring in billions more into the migrant crisis as time goes on. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says we need workers in all areas. He says that migrants have not been granted work authorizations, but they have a bunch of able men and women that are sitting around all day. And he can't even allow migrants and asylum seekers to volunteer either. And he wants to pay them, but he can't. And that's what's happening here. You know, we do have New Yorkers fighting tooth and nail right now for work permits and also jobs. You suddenly have an inflow of tens of thousands of people. How are you supposed to satisfy both the migrants and give them work permits and also help the domestic New York population? Let me tell you guys, New York City, everyone is mad. The mayor spends billions of dollars on the migrant crisis. City council doesn't care about the average domestic citizens. Spends all the time, efforts, and expertise, talent, and cash on the migrant crisis. And nothing's being done. Shoplifting is out of control. Subways are dangerous. Crime is through the roof. And no wonder New York City lost half a million people in three years. And New York City is on track to lose another 150,000 people this year combined with next year. And that number is actually really realistic, which is scary to see the population loss. We also have Haitian migrants demanding help in New York City, and many of them are outside of City Hall to demand assistance and ability to work. That's also another thing. So many people are coming to New York City. More and more buses are coming in, not just from Texas, but also from Denver. And now New York City is so scared about the migrant crisis. They can't keep doing this. Now they're asking migrants to leave. There's literally signs next to the migrant shelters that say, hey, you want to book a ticket to travel? English, Spanish, all sorts of different languages. Basically promoting free plane tickets and asking a lot of the New York migrants to please leave. Because the city is buckling. New York City cannot spend any more money on the migrant crisis. And they know that. And look at this. You know, you have reporters talking about this. And look at all of these different languages basically telling migrants to get out of New York City. They'll pay a plane ticket if they are willing to go to another area. But it's less than like 2% of the migrants that actually go for these plane tickets because they know that other cities do not have the same benefits as New York City. Right now, New York City is basically trashed up. All the migrants are here. And in fact, some of the migrants don't even have like shelters. You know that? Some of the migrants are just sleeping on the floor because New York City is running out of cash. And it's frankly kind of sad. It sucks for everyone, the migrants and the residents. New York City doesn't even know what in the world they're doing. I mean, people are asking New York, if you don't want to do the migrant crisis, why do you take in this many people? Now, the whole city is crumbling.